My name is Xemnir with the uh, Adobe After Effects tutorial, and uh, today I'm Brady's to voice you. makes me hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna Tyler's here too. Yeah. Hey. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a uh, really simple way to make 3D text, and also the best way to uh, best render settings. Jingle buns. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't even understand. First thing you want to do where it says 8B PC 8 bits per channel, you want to click that right there. And the depth, you want to change it to 16 bits per channel. Makes it better Jesus. quality whenever you render it. And then, uh, to start off, you want to bring up your task manager and go over to processes. And, uh, where it says after effects.exe, right click that and set the priority to high. It'll make everything else slow, so don't try to run any other programs. Brady, they're gonna see your porn. Yes, <laughs> they, they are. The one of me and you. I mean, yeah. Oh. Well, that's a good one. Well. <laughs> and then, uh, all right. So let's start with the thing. Let's make a comp 3D text. Then make a new layer. Whatever you want it to say. I'm just gonna make it. Brady, M67. <laughs> See, I'm gonna make it like a darkish gray. Oh, darkish gray. Exactly. Keep talking, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and make a new layer, make a solid, and name it just whatever. I'm gonna name it 3D text. Also, solid. before you make this, you want to, uh, whatever color you make the solid is whatever color the text is, so. I feel like. Brady is just an innocent guy doing a tutorial, and me and Tyler are just like big burly men that are pedophiles. <laughs> Adding some pizzazz. Yes. Oh my god. <clears throat> That's what you should call the series Tutorials with Pizzazz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then uh, you want to make sure you have the 3D text layer selected and go into Effect, Simulation, and Shatter. Where it says View, change the wireframe to uh, Rendered. Change the shape where it says bricks, change that to custom, custom shatter map. You want to make it uh, the um, text layer you have. So mine's Brady MC7. Uh, I'm going to change the extrusion depth to 0.75. That's how far back it's going, like on the Z axis. And all these forces, force 1, 2, and then the physics, you want to change the strength of force 1 to 0. The force. Yes, the strength of force 2, 0. <laughs> And then the physics, like where the gravity says three, change that to zero. So then, basically what we just did is take the shatter effect where it's supposed to make the text fly out. Just make it so it doesn't do anything at all so you have 3D text to play around with. Make sure <laughs> you can't see this because it's totally pointless. You don't need it anymore. And uh, if you want to rotate it around, you can change the camera position and move it and stuff. Change camera it. position. Exactly. Whoa, it's finished rendering for you, Tyler. Yeah, it did. It sounded exciting. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, if you want to make the text more, like, shiny, make a new composition, name it side texture, or whatever you want. Then make a new layer, solid, fractal, noise. That's the effect you're going to be putting in here, so let's go ahead, fractal. Mm. Drag it onto there. Tyler just came. Move like Jagger. Uh, yeah. You want to change the contrast to 300 and the brightness to 75. 75. The complexity too. Tyler just Ooh. did it again. <laughs> change the evolution or make the evolution. Click the little stopwatch to make the keyframe. Stopwatch. Up 10 seconds. Change where it's to 0x. Make that a 2. It'll make it move around a little bit. And then go over to your 3D text composition. Drag the side texture down. You can click the eye. You don't need to be able to see it. And then uh, select the 3D text and go into a shatter. And where uh, it says textures, you want to drop down that arrow. And the side layer, change that to side texture. And now, right here, it looks a little weird, but um, that's because it's stationary. I use the same effect in the video that I have, the uh, advanced 3D text animation thing I made. But, uh, 
And then the next thing you want to do is, uh, <clears throat> if you want, after you're done everything, the, I'm not, not going to render this, but after you're done everything, you want to go to a composition, <coughs> add to render queue. And right here, I'll put module lossless where it says lossless. Click that. Format, change it to H.264. And then click output audio if you have any audio. Output to just select the folder you want to output your uh, thing to. And this is also something else that I found out. If you hold shift and go to preferences, go to general, this little secret thing pops up. You want to make sure this is checked, that says to. <coughs> and the uh, other box is checked, and then just click OK. And uh, I'm not sure if you had to do that before or after. I haven't really noticed any difference. And then whenever you're done, hit uh, caps locks and click render. And uh, I'll pause this just to show you like the quality of it and stuff. Uh, okay. One thing, I don't know if I forgot to say it or not, but uh, for the rendering, you want to make sure caps lock is on because what that does is it disables, you can see here, disables refresh for this preview window. So it makes it so that... Uh, Essentially, it doesn't have to change the window every time it does something, so it runs so much faster. Right here, let me close this out. Don't save. That's my crappy background that I made. The other one was way better. I shouldn't have changed it. Uh, I don't even know what that output to. Not my videos. Free agent. Uh, there it is. You can see it moving around. It looks a lot better on the thing, than the other thing that I made, but, uh, so, that's it for this episode, thanks for watching, see you later.